Hi, my name is Mohamed Reza, and I'll be talking about our work on program synthesis for web data extraction that we've recently shipped in Microsoft Power BI. So getting data from web pages can often be a very difficult task for users, as they often need to write a program to extract the relevant data from the web page. For instance, let's say we wanted to extract data about TV shows from this web page. This used to be a very difficult task in Power BI, as people actually created YouTube videos where they showed how you actually need to first get the source of the web page and then perform a long sequence of text manipulation operations on the source uh, to extract the relevant data. So in the Pros team, we have been developing program synthesis technologies to help the user to create such programs automatically. They can do this by giving examples of the data that they want, or in some cases, we can even fully automatically suggest the correct program to the user. So I will now demo these new features that we've created for Power BI. To extract data from any web page, we first go to Get Data, choose Web, and then enter the URL of the web page. The system then downloads and analyzes the web page to automatically infer data tables. This includes all simple HTML tables specified in table tags, but also other tabular data that may exist in arbitrary formatting patterns. So in this case, we see that there is only one HTML table, but it does not contain the data that we actually want. The suggested tables are the ones that Pros has automatically inferred from the page structure. We see that the first suggested table contains the data we want, including separate columns for the title of the shows, the year, the genre, the rating, and so on. And the other suggested tables contain various other repetitive formatting patterns that we have detected on the page. However, sometimes the user may want to extract data in a particular form that we have not automatically extracted. In that case, they can guide the system by providing examples of the kind of data that they want. So let's say we want the list of all the actors that star in any of the TV shows. So we can start by giving the name of the first actor as an example. And then we can give another example of the second actor. And the system then generalizes to all the actors in the first TV show. We can then continue and give another example. And now the system has learned a selector to extract all of the actors in all of the TV shows. When we are happy with the data, then we can click OK. And the table now appears as a custom table that we have created. So let's say we proceed with table 1. Note that rather than just extracting tables, our goal is to actually synthesize a program that can be re-executed regularly to refresh the data. By clicking on the Advanced Editor, we can actually view the auto-generated program. We see that for each of the columns, the system has generated a CSS selector to extract the values in that column. And we can edit these selectors or add new ones if desired. We have received great feedback on these features. Web by Example was voted in the top five of all the new features released in 2018. And we've also received great feedback from users online with various blogs and videos and general user comments as well as suggestions for how to improve things, such as extraction of image URLs, uh, as well as handling uh, data extraction across multiple web pages, which we are currently working on. And we can also see from usage that about one in every three tables that people use is actually a pro-suggested table rather than a simple HTML table. So it's also very interesting how the research ideas have evolved over the years. Um, so when we first started to think about the web by example feature, um, then we decided to adapt some of the prior work that we had done on programming by example in other domains. But when we started to think about the suggested tables, then that was a totally different problem because we no longer had any examples from the user. So this led to our work on predictive synthesis, where the idea is that we have uh, this uh, unsupervised kind of learning approach, where in a bottom-up fashion we kind of uh, enumerate programs and start analyzing uh, alignment patterns between them. But then after that, we observed that this predictive synthesis can actually be used to improve the by example inference as well. And this led to our recent work on hybrid program synthesis, where we combine the top down and the bottom up approaches into this kind of semi supervised learning system. And the benefits of that are that we can actually learn programs from much fewer examples, and we can also learn more concise and readable programs. So we've also been exploring predictive synthesis in other areas, such as the split column feature that we released in Power BI where we can automatically split a column into separate fields. 
And we've also been looking at automatic code generation for extracting tables out of unstructured text files. You can try out our features by installing Power BI, and we would love to hear your feedback. And you can also find out more about Pros Technologies on our team website and the related project pages. Thank you.